And this will be a talk about Kiwi TCMS. Oh, fellow bird, a Kiwi. A legacy project that needs your help. How fast can you set up? It is there. Right, is it the right screen or do you need an uh, extra time? All right, there you go. Hello. I have a lot of time and I don't have a lot more to talk. Uh, my name is Alex and I am the project lead for uh, Kiwi TCMS, which is uh, a test case management system. Uh, this is a very, very old software, almost to the point where it's completely legacy. Uh, the first version was released in 2009, uh, and uh, after that uh, it has been developed uh, and was not made public. In 2014 it was pushed to GitHub as a single commit with just as initial commit, and that was about it. Uh, then development continued for a while on GitHub, and uh, it stopped. Uh, when I got to the project and started contributing that project, the original project was already dead. So I decided to fork the project to myself, continue development, and then after a while, I was advised by a friend of mine to create a separate organization on GitHub to change the name to avoid uh, copyright issues or maybe trademarks and stuff like that. Uh, and this is how Kiwi TCMS was born. So we forked the project a second time. I continued development. Uh, I was able to upgrade from Django 1.6 to 1 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 2.0. Uh, then upgrade from Python 2 to Python 3 and now to Python 3.6 in particular. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, there are around 20,000 lines of Python code in this project and around 10,000 lines of JavaScript code. Uh, a lot of them need refactoring. Uh, so I started looking for other people to engage in this project. Right now we are a team of four developers and we work together. Uh, just last month we started uh, receiving external contributor contributions from people who are not on the team uh, and that's a good thing and we still have a lot of work to do. Uh, what we've been able to do so far is uh, completely change the API that the system provides. So that's cool, that's stable, uh, and it actually works. We managed to get all the test suite running, uh, so we now have testing in the project. Uh, we had 4,000 pilot errors. Uh, we are down to about 1,000 right now. Uh, we managed to kill a lot of code smells, a lot of code duplication, duplication and there's still about 500 of these. Um, yet that need to be done. So there is still a lot of work to be done on this project. Uh, the good thing is that there are new users uh, coming in, the community is starting to revive, and we need your help. We need developers who are willing to work uh, on some of the Python code or maybe on some of the JavaScript code on the front end. Uh, it's perfect for if you're a student or if you're a beginner, we are welcoming for everybody. Uh, there are some very hard tasks that uh, can be done in the project, but there are also a lot of easier things uh, that need to be done, and that's perfect for you to like uh, try your hands out, get some experience with uh, real-world software uh, that's being used by more and more people every day, and contribute something to the open source community. Thank you. Thank you.